Hello, and welcome to something a little different from me. I like Etrian Odyssey. Let's... I'll, I'll just point that out before we even really get started. I like Etrian Odyssey. I've beaten all three games, but never really completed them to the fullest. This game, I, ne I tried the first time with a, you know, five-character team, and... But frankly, I failed. Uh, then I played this again with a two-character team, which later grew into a four-character team, but that's beside the point. That one did a lot better. I got to this uh, sixth stratum, but I never pursued it. So, this time, I'm going to try something even a little more different. Oops. Of course there's no save game. I'm silly. Why am I pressing that? I am being silly head. Give me a second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, okay. I just had to reconfigure it so that it was re it was okay for me to play, because I'm I'm not used to using the same controls for The World Ends With You and for this game. So, let's start a new game. One day, in a small, isolated town of Etria, an underground forest was discovered. The Radha, governors of Etria, issue issued a proclamation throughout the continent. Any able-bodied adventurer was invited to invest investigate the forest and explore its depths. But no matter how many came to investigate the dungeon, none sought the found, gained the renown they sought. As more adventurers tried and failed to conquer it, it came to be known by a new name, the Drizzle Labyrinth. You are the latest adventurer to join, journey to Etria in response to the Radha's proclamation. You have but one goal. Explore the forest to win fame and fortune. Etria is at hand. Hooray! Let's enter the Explorer's Guild. I've done this too many times. Haven't seen you before. I take it you came to check out the Yggdrasil Labyrinth? Then welcome, friend. Not many guilds lately are admitting new adventurers. Those short-sighted losers care too much about trifles to do any real investigation. If you've got the guts, you should make a guild entirely for newcomers, which is what we're going to do. There are still loads of guys just sitting on their thumbs who join any guild that take them. How about it? Gonna make a guild? Yeah, it's not like I really have a choice. Great! Then let's get started. Write what you want to call your guild in this legend. Someday the world will know this name, so think carefully before choosing it. This guy's a psychic expert. Uh... Let's see what he has to say. Don't push your 
yourself too hard. You can come here any time to rest your weary bodies. Sleep the night through, or nap until evening. Either way, we can accommodate you. It's great to know. Except, your prices get slightly more expensive as we progress the game. Clef, so, Seth, Seth, Clef? I don't know. I'll call him Seth. Welcome to Etrio. You stand in the town's apothecary, where we heal the wounded and fallen. So, we don't have to worry about death. Cool. We also offer medicines to take with you. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you are wounded in the forest, then come back here and we'll do everything we can for you. Alright then, let's leave. Well, since we only have one character, let's buy a whole bunch of uh, goods for him. Hello. Need items? Weapons? Equipment? Come you go. Are you to guild I heard about? It's only new folk. Only one new folk. Me. Explorers like you are my best customers. I look forward to doing business with you. Okay, I do too. Uh, weapons. Let's buy the best large knife we can. And our armor. Well, we already have that. I don't even know why they bother selling them. Anymore. I suppose they need clothes. Let's buy a targe. And a hairpin. And a leaf boot. Let's see. Uh, whip. Yes, I know what equip does. Equip allows you to equip. Wow. How clever. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh torch. Just because of shield sometimes. And leaf boot. Oh yeah, and I can't use most of my abilities if I don't have a shield, so... Where's that the second one? I forget. Custom. So, let's customize this ability. Because we're doing this solo for the beginning, let's learn great defense by a whole hack. We always want defense. Defense is good. This is great. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See? How cheap that was. That was very cheap. So let's go. Uh, where do we have to go now? Well, here we can get quests, but we can't do that until we become a real guild.
map of the floor world. As I'm sure they told you back at Rod Hall, everyone goes through this initiation. With that, the soldier points to the map of the forest you will not In this game, yeah, yeah, basically, it's just telling us how to make maps. Do you understand how to draw the map? Quite thoroughly, thank you. The area inside the red border shows where you got to map. Finish that part and see me. Ask about the labyrinth. The soldier looks around him before answering. We call this the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. It's a pretty strange place. The ecology here is completely different than the one in the world above. We will. It goes down so deep, no one has ever seen it. Mr. Strato. If you plan on exploring down there, then make sure your guard is up at all times. His speech delivered, the soldier loses interest in you and returns to his post. You hesitate, unsure whether to ask him another question or let the matter drop. Let's leave quietly. You decide to leave the soldier alone. Okay, let's do that. So yeah, uh, I would go crazy far into the forest, but I don't particularly have that many people with me. If you, you know, see that. I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, do, 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 do. So let's just go to where I am. Straight here. Nice. 